Architects like to think that buildings are highly specific to their site and use. Not true. Maybe that's what they hope for, you know, when they first build it. It's like, we envision it to be this, but you know, the reality of the situation is like, you know, can be, it's a space that can be used for many things. And then over time, uh, economics or what have you, just sort of force different things to happen. I was fascinated by all of these sort of very, it seemed kind of cold, stark high rises on the side of the freeway coming into Toronto. And whenever I'd see them, I'm like, God, that's God forsaken. Who lives? Who lives inside of those towers by the highway? It must be so boring and inside there. Like my assumption is like, it must be so dull and bleak. I'm gonna dress up as a cowgirl and try to infiltrate the building and see what's inside there. And I loitered around the outside and infiltrated this building. My assumption was like, it's gonna be a really boring place where it's so dull. But I met at the door with like very, open the door, so many smells of delicious food. Uh, I go up the elevator, there are children playing in the hallways like ball. It's like this vibrant world of mostly uh, new Canadians, immigrants from all over the world. And, and, and they're all in this, what looks to be a banal exterior high rise. There's like this vibrant, eclectic cultural mecca happening there of like a lot of, a lot of energy. There was this kid that I met in, um, in the, in the elevator, and my whole thing was to try to infiltrate somebody who lives in there. And I'm like, in character, ask if I can go inside his house. And he invites me in, and he's from Mexico, lives with his family, he's like 14. He brings me into his room. Uh, I meet his mom. His mom is uh, with his dad. He's wearing, the dad is like wearing a bright green shirt, and mom is helping him dye his hair black because even though they're divorced, they're still very good friends and dad is going on a date that night. It's pretty soon mom is like teaching me how to salsa dance and stuff like that. I could have not been more wrong in my assumption that it was like a kind of cold, stark, bleak place looking at the outside. Inside it was like the most vibrant space that I'd been to in a long time. Uh, welcome, I was welcomed in by a family of strangers. So I guess that has something to do with what I'm talking about, the sort of assumption of, um, you know, what it's intended to be and then, you know, what it becomes.
whose heart is strong.